Hey y'all, this lady D live from Detroit, and I'ma get on here right quick, and I'ma break this shit down for y'all. Okay, here's the deal: Quavo and Takeoff went to Houston to celebrate Mike Prince Jr. son birthday. You know, like he said, they've been cool, they've been friends. Okay, well he sent. Word, I need y'all to come. You know my son. He invited quite a few celebrities, rappers. But only so many showed up. Okay. Boom. Now, I followed him that day. He was riding around with them. They was hanging out all day. Whatever occurred at that last stop in the Fifth Ward, they was gambling there too before they even went to the bowling alley. I was wrong, but come to find out, they were gambling in the bowling alley. Uh person emailed me and said they was gambling over the bowling first a thousand dollars a game excuse me and after that they started shooting dice so they was shooting dice in there and there's so many people saying that that bowling alley you know can get in trouble because they ain't got no fucking license to be letting nobody gamble up in there that's illegal that's not bowling anyway moving right along in between time uh, you know, Quavo is pissed the fuck off because he won his money and he quit. So anyway, they leaving. They leaving. They get outside. The taunting and the teasing and shit from the fifth ward over to the bully out. Now you done lost the rest of your money. They really going in on you. Boom. Now they get outside. I guess them fifth ward niggas said shit. Fuck it. Let's get them. Shit, that nigga bitch ass nigga Quavo talking shit, allegedly. Let's get him. So, they had to have a reason though to get it started so it can motivate some shit where a motherfucker be able to get the job done. Sacrificed, planned, premeditated, however y'all want to say it. It fit a little bit, but not exactly. But my opinion is, you know, maybe it was a setup. But not with Quavo. I just can't. And if it come out that he was involved in setting this nigga up, it's crazy. It's for the world is just uh out of there. Okay? Because that's his nephew. But they say in the myths, them Illuminatis and them cults and all that shit exist. And they take niggas out and you got to sacrifice somebody when you get to a certain point. Okay, Migos is millionaires. When you become billionaires, that's when you fuck around and get over in the hot zone. Okay, over there where you got to pay the cost to be on the top. Okay, Beyonce and Jay-Z ain't still up there for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But it ensued Quavo like fuck. They just knew they were on bullshit at this point. To me, they knew they was on bullshit and they felt like they got got Quavo. Felt like he got got. They on some bullshit. Okay, fuck it. They telling him, taunting, nigga, play basketball. So that was Mike Prince telling him that. Nigga, play basketball and try to win your money back. That's what the nigga saying. So everything I heard in that video now fits because I know who the corpus is in it. Who's saying what and who. You got to figure it out. But it's Mike Prince and Quavo arguing. Migo swings on him when Quavo say... Let me get the fuck out of here before I hurt somebody. Evidently, Migos band seen Mike Prince or somebody around him finna do something. He swung, hit Mike Prince, knocked him on the floor. They get him up. The nigga done already grabbed up takeoff and shot him in the head, y'all. Okay? And either way it go, they gonna figure out who shot him in the head and who shot him in the body between Migos bands and the nigga in the yellow hoodie. And if Migos bands was doing all this out of self-defense... Because, baby, you can best believe he going to get to that station and tell, yes, I seen him finna shoot him. You know what I'm saying? Or he was about to harm him. So I shot. Self-defense. Like AK-47 told us, self-defense, even if it do turn out like that. But the other little nigga in the yellow hoodie can't say that. Okay, because you wasn't over there involved in nothing and you not a paid security guard. And you probably ain't legally to be even be carrying Okay, with uh, other crimes that they say he got on his rap sheet. But that's the same little nigga that was in the gambling spot with Boozy and them at his gambling party. 
So it make you wonder, did Boozy really have something to do with that shit or he just took that weight? Or he had something to do with it, him and Jay Prince, and he, they had to end up paying the people and head honchos in Chicago. I don't know. Somebody need to figure this shit out because it's crazy. But keep listening, and you'll find out yourself. Don't trust nobody information, you know, really but your own. But we all along here searching, seeking, and finding, sharing each other's content. Black people just don't know how to stick together on shit. Okay, we don't support shit black people do. We got all in their comments making fucked up comments talking about the people that do come from behind their screen. Okay? Okay, and I am from the streets. <laughs> okay, for real, for real. Straight up. Yes, I'm in a club and I've been in a club and I ain't never seen no shit like this in my life. Okay, well, you lure people places and they end up dead and never make it back home. That's weird. That's crazy. But this lady D live from Detroit, y'all, and I just want to come on. I just had to come on here and give y'all that little scoop scoop because, yes, I do have subscribers and they do e email me and send me shit. And I just got it. Okay, so I gave it to y'all and it's up to y'all to believe it, you know. But I think that's how that shit went and that's what happened. Okay, that's just my theory. Because it's still shit keep coming out. Keep coming out. Now we know he was arguing with. But I told y'all in my video. Whoever that was in the, that was arguing with him had on all dark colors. And that black and white hat. Or that white hat with black on the side. That was MJ Prince, they said. So, this lady D live from Detroit, y'all. Like and subscribe. Stay strong. And trust your damn instincts. Quit saying everybody your damn friend and they ain't. Quit trusting people. You can know them all your life. But when it's this involved or this involved, I got it. So I know how I feel. They're coming. I'm out.